Alright, so I'm gonna be making a tutorial on how to speedrun Sven Coop, the application from Half-Life 1. Um, Sven Coop isn't really that popular if it comes to speedrunning, but it's actually really fun if you do it with, uh, with more people, of course, because it's Coop after all. Um, this first section is pretty simple, like, it's just pure effectiveness of UB hop. The first part. Um, there's a s slight, slight um, trick here. We have more p more people. You have to stay in the doorway to to have it open for the other person. One does this. Uh, you can get from this one to that ledge, but it's pretty tricky. I usually go for one of those two. Jump off. Like there's a good position here too get a few b-hops in and land perfectly here so you can maintain your b-hop and the other person should just get the call for their armor if I is and it, because he doesn't have to do anything more so you maintain your b-hop you go through back it's pure, pure b-hop effectiveness don't trigger him before he come with the armor with suit I mean okay so there's a ladder upcoming have one ladder. Uh, the safest part is just to go down the ladder. Like I'm pretty bad at it. I just you can uh, basically what you do is side strafe down here with the good position. Remember to not hit your head in that ledge, because what will happen is you just go down and want to reach the actual ladder. Uh, there's a trick to just jump off and like do like this, but I am as you can clearly see really bad at it. This first first like map is pretty fun. The next one is really bad. Uh, you just you just have to touch it and just press uh, mouse wheel to get off. Uh, more hops and this is also a sh very small trick. You just the first man goes in, opens the door, goes to Barney. The other one just goes in with more hop speed. Uh, this part you just just like you have a phone, you just push uh, this scientist to the to the scanner or something like that. Wasn't even a good. You, you can steer him more to the side. He sometimes just walks as he wants. Uh, you can't move them while they're talking. So just. It, to be honest, it doesn't even matter that much. It's it's really small difference. You just push into times. Don't try to change his outcome. Oh, yeah, don't go into that other too much. This first map is pretty straightforward. And there's the first chapter. This is the most boring map in the entire game. You can't even skip it. Um, you just push those two scientists like plus minus like this. But like this is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. Then those about them. Potentially the most unstable. Yeah. It doesn't matter as much though because it's literally like seconds. Like it's not even sec like half a second or something. Depends on your if you fail completely. It basically, you know. But yeah, this map is just gonna either like you're probably gonna get bored on this. To be honest, like you can practice your B hop and circle jump. And your strays. Most of the time here, one person has to go up the ladder, press the button at uh, 1 minute 40 34 seconds. So, like when the map loads. So, yeah, it's like three factors how fast you speed on this map. It's those two scientists, this button, and uh, also that. Cart right there. Uh, 
Yeah. Mm. It's also like it this is a pretty good space to actually just train your circle jump. And um yeah, pff, that's it basically. It's like this map is like four minutes long. And uh, like there's almost no skill involved, so it's really meh. I'm gonna be covering in this video Shad Chapter 1 only, Chapter 1. Then. And uh, this is when like this map reaches the end, that's basically Chapter 1. So it's pretty straightforward. The first map is Gucci, but this one is just. shouldn't even exist, to be honest. There should be an option to just like skip it. And one of the hardest tricks in this game mm, um, It's gonna come on 3rd and 5th map Or something like that Oh wait, no, 3rd Oh no, 3rd, 3rd, 3rd and 5th map And <laughs> it's actually really nice Because you can If you mess up, you can uh, reset the run But this map is uh, destroying that a bit To be honest, because Actually you have to wait It's, it's just a cutscene But you can move in it It's how games are designed, I guess. And like in like a few seconds, this is the end of the chapter one. So there's literally no more things to say. That was it. Okay, so this is gonna be there for the chapter three, and not two. Uh, the two was the last one. I said it wrong. And this first part is green. You can actually move like. Okay, so this is a three man boost. One person goes on the bottom, the other one goes on the top, and like you boost the third person up. Try to hold your. Uh... It's basically you get boosted because everyone jumps, and then you get on top of this and skips all that that um, that, that section. What you basically do is like just strafe into the, the, the and you skip all that other other shit. If you're three people, yeah, that's basically the boost when you're when you get TP right right here. Actually, before to go as fast as, as fast as this one and just press E on it to so open the door. Uh, you can like get to here and it's pretty tricky, but yeah, it doesn't say that much. Opens just side strafe, get the med kit. Um, it's pretty important to get the med kit because you're gonna need it for uh, and also this if you get a good side strafe, not a, like 100 good up to the one, you can actually maintain your speed and not lose goods. Uh, we both players get med kit. Go wait for the player. Go together. Don't hit the edges of the elevator because sometimes you can damage it and it can go down and. Up. Um, you should skip those two scientists. Just go uh, with your co-partner right here. Drop him med kit. And the trick to this to get this uh, clip is uh, can actually change our mode. So what you want to do is. Your partner stand like or just like right here to prevent you from falling. And you do, you do is when you're like starting to go up while jumping, you have to kill yourself, so you will get boosted down. If you don't, uh, you're gonna uh, your partner can like move a little bit forward, and that can like push you, push you down. Yeah, let's see if I can manage it. Yeah, like this. And like, you're gonna get uh, pushed, uh, revive like here. See? And then I'm on the, on the other side. 
Now what you do is basically just jump here. Uh, I'm gonna show it again actually. I'm holding the... Uh, let's see if I can shaft your double W. Oh, that was the rough ground command. Yeah, you do have to hold W. Oh, no you don't. Yeah. Basically it, It's actually a pretty easy... Um, trick to do. And you can't do it the other way apparently, as you can clearly see. It just requires some uh, like uh, muscle memory, I guess, and like some best fingers. Well, uh, it's usually best to hold W because then you actually like get move kind of movement forward when you die. Uh, sometimes you're gonna fall down here though, and you also have to remember when if the survival mode is on, uh, to not hit any button because then you will respawn down there and you're gonna lose time a lot of time. Sometimes you will go down down here, and. Uh, Basically, your person has to resurrect you down here, and let's tr try again. If it's actually too hard, just use the actual scientist route, but it it does save about 40 seconds, so it's really worth it. Especially if not three players, because three players are going to need to just boost up there in the uh, beginning. And like this. See? When, when, I, when I, sometimes you can do it wrong, so I get boosted behind. But if there's a player here, there's a lower chance of that happening, actually. this. Yeah, that was it. I'm gonna show you this right here. It probably takes like 20 seconds to talk to him. I'm gonna show the trick in another video. It's all the tricks and like skips. Yeah, I know. Uh, so like this skip saves about 40 seconds or something, actually probably even more. It's it was discovered by me and uh, Fuju, like by uh, like we, we just messed around and it just worked. We didn't know how and know why, because uh, there was no ledge, there was no like it shouldn't, but yeah, it's a very very well programmed on like the signed game I guess. Uh, yeah, just, oh yeah, there was just. Basically, okay, I should have actually explained this pretty well. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, okay, so here we have two lasers. Oh, should I should have let go before actually. Um, <laughs> completely missed everything. Okay. Oh god. So you come to the room. There's a trigger like right here. Just go into it. Go inside. It's gonna be three lasers. One, two, three. And then last one will open that way. Like when it's like halfway done, just. Just. Yeah, you hope through it. Also, this water here just probably just should, should jump all the time right here and try to get on the the pipe. Doesn't like it's just effectiveness. We we'll go through here. Mm. If your circle jump isn't good enough, this probably won't work. But those like efficient wise, um, what I always do is just the door. this so you get on a circle jump one b hop and then you should pass like right under it and uh, it can kill you even though if you crouch if you crouch and jump so you should care um yeah you actually show it's full okay okay uh, also this one right here like you're gonna have to, um, it will like go like right here when you are uh, going through. So you should just like stay with, with the wall and uh, shift, or you can also go through this way. But I actually never didn't try it before. I never tried actually. Should have. Uh, you should have dropped the medkit by now, by the way. So you just get the crowbar right away. It's just faster glass. Here jumps, click the glass, go up the ladder, oh as well, I forgot actually, I also going to mention it. And you go up the ladder, when you press W, you go like this, or WS, WS, go forward and backwards. If you hold a strafe key in most of um, bad games, you actually will go faster. Because, and that's how the engine works. And it's nice to, uh, it works both ways. And, um, should like have your camera 
like like this, like a uh, rotation. So like you don't you don't fall off. It's nice to not fall off, I guess. Like here, uh, there's gonna be a policeman. In, like that, that guard, fucking policeman. Fuck. Like here, shooting zombies. Just go through them. Um, just keep here. Probably pretty small one. I'm just bad, and I must never get it because I'm just bad. Just gonna go through this like a new main new hop instead of opening it. So it's nice. Uh, go to the right side here. Like you have to, you have to f f like stay on the right side because th then the zombies will be to the right side, and the, this guy won't block you. Um, the other should can respawn probably by right by now, and they're gonna respawn right here. And this, uh, I'll do. and also just open it, get armor. Uh, yeah, just from the zombies. You should still have a good hit behop here. Uh, small skip right here, around here, circle jump, and uh, hold your hold your crouch all the time. Because if you don't hold your crouch right here, you're gonna get crushed by that, by this thing. For some reason, if you do, if you come here, like even if you're with the wall right like right here, and you uncrouch, you're gonna die. That's just how it is. Um, small script back here. I never. I don't think I ever got this one. To be honest, uh, you have to like get some nice jumps in here and just like keep your momentum through this vent. Nothing interesting in here. Also, a small one here. You just have to. This one is a bit bad. You have to like um, get the right movement and uh, yeah, like jump in like this all from uh, and click the button and this is the first map. Button again, opens. Oh god, that was a bad super jump. Uh, effectiveness, this is here. I'm contract by the head drop every time. Go to valve. No other route to be honest. This was the most effective one. God I suck. More B hops and circle jumps. Uh, oh, this one. I hate those ledges. Like this one is this. This is one of the most retarded ledge in the beginning. I always stumbled on it. And when you have like this B up right here, you should crouch here because sometimes you can hit the ledge right here and it will stop all your momentum, and you just have to like go to this, and it's like just annoying. And there's a pistol here. There, you don't have to take it. There's, an, I mean, animation. There's no point just. And jump on the thing. Uh, one person can actually go up here as I think Mano found uh, someone, and um, just shoot the headscope and get them. You should the people should try to maintain their armor, not get uh, blocked by headcrab. Like when I like, if I reset right now, we see there's a I can stop. There's a like a trigger here. Like if you die after the trigger, you're gonna lose your armor. So they should try to not. So it's like I did show. Uh, kill those head crabs, they're gonna get smashed if you shoot them, shoot those head crabs and I replex you. You can also get smashed if someone uh, um, respawns on you. When it's like out here, you can jump off, get here. Okay, so this is a really interesting jump. Um, about here. And like there's a small, like here. Wow. There's a small. Let's um, kill those crabs. Probably should have used just command or something. Don't bother. Okay. So, jump like around here. And uh, circle jump, circle jump. You have to figure out your position to get this this one. Uh, it's like f six seconds. It's 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 actually pretty hard. The thing is, you have to you have to figure figure out. Um, position to start from to get it almost every time and like how efficient you have to be with it and also it, it doesn't fall off if you if you hit don't hit the like from here um if you don't succeed like it, it, from in the beginning you shouldn't even try it it's pretty freaking retarded okay so let's say that if this falls this falls like you stick you stick on it now it's kinda harder and uh, just go through here. So, uh, we'll strafe. Okay, there's 75 armor in here. Two. 
and the third one right here. And I dislike this jump. It's pretty easy, but I dislike it. Like the thing is, it, the circle jump isn't like as good here as you would think. Like from here, so it's often just better to just to like do this. Doesn't even have to be a good one. You can't get up there. It's just um, it, it will get pushed off. It's impossible. Let's think up. Okay, just more efficiency. Ladder, ladder. Uh, depends on your health here, but most of the time you can just skip those others and just have luck when you 30 health. More efficiency, oh god. Yeah, this was the second map. Mm. Oh yeah, this, is, this was the end actually of ch chapter 3, okay. Okay, so this is the fourth chapter of the tutorial um, of Rice Complex. Uh, so one is gonna start with like 75 armor or something like that. Um, the other person should go for the armor or the... Um, what's it called again? Ah, vent. Uh, the person with armor should like here, yeah. wait until he strikes, go. But he has to have armor though, that's the thing. He has to have armor, then he will actually survive. Um, it's really important, and that, that's why he did like, that. I need. You can drop some ammo if you need to here. Um, so, first person, just. So you could jump to this. Go to this, open, go, and uh, just get more speed. This was a bad one, but sure. Mm. Just two routes here, really small difference. Uh, this is the riskier one, just go through here. Into, you can still get wrecked by this, like, there's a blockage. Uh, there's a right, right here, I think. Where is it? There it is. Why didn't it open? Interesting. Um, if you bump into this, you can get like wrecked by this. So uh, there's kind of no point. Like be fast, just just, just back the power. It's just for safety sake. Um, I, to be honest, me and Fortune have done this before because there was kind of no point. We always always like never failed on this map, but we kind of did for some reason. Uh, why not? Right. We didn't. We don't lose time in a way. So yeah. Open the door. Just typical um uh, yes okay it's gonna open and the player who just turned off the power just goes there and waits for the oh they to open the door the first guy who had the armor right here goes into i'm pretty bad at this because i fuck okay uh, i don't do this part should you should shoot them before they reach you before they uh, attack you i mean so you will, so they won't actually stop you if you if your bodies. Crowbar this, open all the doors. Uh, remember, the doors that can actually crush you, like if it's not here. So just be careful. Two head crap down. You push this, and there's a trick here. Uh, it saves a little bit of time. Uh, actually, you can. Just, you don't need the big one. Um, this trick right here to boost someone up. Wait, can I even? Uh, Is it binded? No, it's not. Uh, so there's a trick here to jump on this guy's head while crouching. I'm gonna show it in on the video and resurrect him through this uh, floor. And I will show the like when you resurrect. You just I'm gonna show it in another video actually. Like you don't stand complete like like crouch with completely with this, but like in the middle. So there's. Pre Place for him to sit down. You uncrouch, and he messed up. I think. Yeah, yep. But like, so he has space here to and try to not like move because um, he might respawn here there, or behind you. There you go. That's how it works. Uh, the nature is. We don't have to show the nature. Uh, just, just like, 
see you guys now. Um, okay, so you... It, it's it's not that hard, but it's neither that easy, so... The easier path is just go with random in this way. Scientists, uh, like six, six five scraps, just to come across here. The doors. Yeah, they cut the platforms. Go through here. Uh, yeah, this section is by the way laggy for the host. So, uh, the host will have a problem here. If you don't have armor, um, this might be a bit tricky, but like, if you want to have shot many bots like this, and then you take this damage, you can take the class. Wow, if you touch that. Okay, so this is a really tricky one. Uh, there's a spawn like right here, like right here. Um, first, go down, take 10 nades, and uh, there's a tutorial for this, like on, in, like on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to do it myself. Approximately right here, and you have to like throw two nades after each other. One after uh, each other, so the other one will push out the knight into after the door, and outside on the other side, and it will hurt Barney or like it, it will trigger basically them to spawn. Uh, let's see if we can make this. That was actually pretty bad. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, you notice I got it over to the next to hit them, but. It didn't have enough. Oh, actually, okay, it doesn't have enough. Uh, you should try to get more speed, because then what will happen is they will, will keep, like hit all of them, I think, and then they don't have to kill the zombie, which is right here, which will open the door faster. Um, they will open the door if the guard shoots. No, oh, fuck! They didn't kill them. Okay. Um, there's also like a much. Oh, yeah, Barney's, please. There's also, uh, there's also like a, which go around for like two or three minutes or something. It's really not worth it. Killed all the four guns. Okay, and they're invisible for always. Um, when you come here, just right away. There's a credit card right here, so just side to the side. This is really laggy for the host, so don't expect. Yeah, exactly. I jumped here but I didn't because it's laggy. So the second or third player you should like definitely do this do those hops because it's so much easier. And efficiency right here. Next map. And it's the Wait, this is gonna be the Oh, it's the fifth, fifth ch chapter done. Okay, it's just the end. Okay, so the fifth chapter, chapter is probably like the um, fastest one, like one of the fastest. I think it's probably the fastest. Uh, Holds just goes. He takes like take some oh, mining a fifty or something, and uh, there's a trick here. In the original half of the phone, you could just like throw a nade, and he will open 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 the door and shit. But here, um, we have resurrection power, so we can just. Why don't you in the middle of like, um, yeah, go on top of each other, crouch and, and crouch, like, yeah, they all have to jump with crouching, with crouch and just like die from suicide, and you can just like reject him. Okay, really fast map. Um, the second player just goes down here. Did. I was turning okay. on my recording again. And this was actually really easy. Like, I don't think Future ever failed it. You just have to uncrouch. You can't even jump if you want, actually. And you have to like hold crouch and uh, get the button. And you, while while he's in there, you just get ammo, and that's it. It's and it skips like two minutes of this map. It's really OP. It's it's really game breaking. But uh, like it skips all of this map, which is really nice. Just go down through this vent. Through here. Through here. And the other guy just, just literally wait here, like this, and just go through here. Through there and uh, after taking the armor, go through your gate. So go jump. Be open. Yeah, that was the fifth uh, chapter. 
Okay, so this is the sixth, sixth chapter. Uh, this one is pretty, actually pretty, pretty hard as well. Uh, the first player just goes for this, uh, opens this. You don't, you don't have to get the nades. Um, there's a small trick right here. One person goes here, waits for the elevator to come up, hits the button, and dies. And the other one should have like fallen down by now. Respawn. And uh, just respawn right here if you're two players, because uh, respawn, like, respawns, I guess. Uh, this is pure efficiency. Yeah, th this is a nice map to be hop, by the way. Oh, yeah. It map. Um, first player goes for the button. One to just go for the button as usual. Did. The second, second player. Also, I, I'm gonna explain how to do it. Uh, assault rifle tricks so that we don't have to. Second player just jumps down here. Nice. The other one clicks the button. And just both respawn here. It's really pretty. And also there is Rekt Substrat, so... It's important to wait for the button to activate. Yeah. And like, if you mess it up, you can, uh, and you respawn on the elevator, you can also always kill yourself. And uh, respawn uh, down here. And also this one, there's a resurrect glitch. You have to crouch, jump, and uh, be high enough to... There. Like that. Player just um, jumps, and when you hit them at the top, you just suicide, and the other end just resurrects him. Uh, when you resurrect them, don't stand in the star where he was, because you're gonna block him, block him for resurrecting. So just like stand here, like, yeah, on the other side, probably the best here. And he is, if he did it right, he's supposed to resurrect it up there. And if you don't feel like you can actually, like, if you're not efficient enough with them, just like the first player just goes here, crouches like right here, jumps on him, jump, and he gets on top of it, and just goes on top of it, and just goes for the... Uh, if somehow the first player, like, they can't actually, like, um, be more noob than me, it's possible, and like, he's all the way behind, you can you can jump out of this, or like down here, and just go through the boxes and uh, go to the ladder. It might be actually faster. Uh, it's not it's not common though, but sometimes it's faster. Up the ladder, efficiency. Just jump with shift here. And this is this is a pretty nice jump. And grab oh god, that was bad. You can grab armor right here. This this this. You can get all of speed right here. Am I might completely failed? Because I could have. Just, and just like you can do it on the other side. But remember, you can click this button on that like this side right here. Uh, but the thing is, can I cut this or something? Um. Uh, if you don't succeed to actually go on the thing, it will go without you. But actually, it doesn't matter because you can kill yourself and respawn here. I think so at least. I'm actually checking right now. I never tried it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it works like that. So it doesn't matter, just, just get to the thing, I think, and uh, you're Gucci. Yeah, but you lose armor though, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this next one is really, um, a really cool map, actually. Um, this guy, kill those. Guys, uh, you should, depends on your skill level, but you probably should go first for the door. Right to open it. Uh, the host should probably do it. And the other guy should try start um, be hopping from there to get on the ledge and on the other side. Don't destroy those bombs, there is no point, you're just gonna have less space. Um, if it's actually it's not actually that hard this jump like it probably looks pretty damn awfully but like it's actually pretty nice, pretty easy and the, you can either do it from there it you have more speed but like more time to be up and uh, you can just uh, like side strafe right here I mean wall strafe you can have all those speed as well um 
You can also do it from here, but like I if somehow find it more difficult. It's also the pattern. And you have to also like learn how to how to be efficient with it and uh, have the same movement. So I just prefer this one. Uh, often like the, just the first player to oh god I actually missed it. Uh, the first player just to make the jump. Both players should try to make the jump. Uh, if you don't feel like um, good enough, then you just just actually just skip it and go uh, the normal way through the store. But um, like it's worth I think three tries and then just well, actually probably three and four. But yeah, so it's definitely worth. Uh, I should actually show it like what it looks afterwards if I actually manage to jump because I didn't jump. It's either because you don't even have to go to the full edge oh god, to get there. I might even uh, damage here. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, there's health here if you need. Um, you actually need a little bit because you cannot be going down like this. And depends on how your skills right here. Um, do this, but you're um, gonna have to strafe. You, you can try to get the ladder, but that's kind of risky. So you can just like go into the green stuff, go up the ladder. Get some health if, if you actually need it, but um, I doubt you need it. Here it's pretty simple. Uh, you shouldn't try to go fast here to be honest, because like this should kind of wreck you really hard. Uh, you should care for it. Shift crouch, shift crouch, and you can't kill yourself right here. Uh, the thing is, if we're going to like respawn right now, I'm not going to respawn here, you're going to respawn with the door. Um, Show you. Because those will be here to just right kick him. Yeah, the other player, this is the other player's route. Just right kick him. And uh, the others respawn right there. Like, this is our resp your respawn right now. Open this. Uh, when you're free players, there's a small, like, uh, strategy here. But, like, I'm gonna show it in a video. When we actually have three people. And I actually have already three people. Um, Go this way. You like when when the doorway just change to like when you're, when you're like in this area, just change to your assault rifle because uh, you're gonna need it for this guy. If you hit the shot right, you can one shot him like like this. Okay, I guess not. Um, different values because I'm single player. Like usually you can one shot him like this and um, let's go forward. And there's two bunnies here. If you have the wrong movement right here, like. I don't know, I don't remember how it looks like, but like, it might block you, like, you might stand right here, and the thing you can do is just move back and just shoot this, you're gonna lose armor though, or health, which is bad, but, like, it, it, this guy, he doesn't like, he doesn't like you to progress, you don't need nades or anything like here, it's gonna run out, okay, nice. Um, the, the, the tank will not do that much damage. Uh, yeah, if you... He managed to jump. You just have to go instead of here. The player should have to go down there. Wait, uh, God, I'm gonna put the code now. Yeah, sure. Um, if you're struggling on this map, it's really smart to just kill the banner. Cool. Get 100 armor, like, like 100, because um, if you get less than 100, it w it's not gonna refill at the end of the game. I mean, at the end of the map. And uh, your other partner can't take it then. Yeah, I see what I mean. Like, you can actually, like, move him or shit. Just go down there. That's the... instead of the... skip. There's gonna be a zombie here. You usually don't have to kill him. But sometimes he will stand here and will mess you, mess you up. So don't be surprised. Uh, he can explode those. Just go forward, doesn't matter. And also, okay. Um, there's probably a few things I haven't talked about here yet, but... You're gonna, your ho the host, the main player, has to gonna have to change the survival mode. He's gonna have to die and change the survival mode. So there's gonna like a blue icon of Senko for like uh, Half Life or the Lambda will appear from Greek, and um, it means it basically respawns. And like the, instead of the player just like going all the way around again, like from there, 
he's gonna respawn here and you're gonna cast the resurrect trick together. Um, the buttons are like right here, but like we did here because it's because the person can actually see you and how white on you. You, the first, second person, of course, because I don't know of this from before because I'm gonna have another bit for it. Of it. Oh, goes up, kills himself, goes down with the camera, is wrecked, then, um, what you do is. Uh, oh, I was gonna. Is wrecked right here. Okay, thank you. Right here. And then, in response, we can do the. Uh, Resurrect it right down here. Like, uh, the things are down there, but like we do it here because it's. Better, faster. Slow. Now. And then you just click both those buttons. And this is the map. It goes down there, you take armor. That's the end. What you're gonna, gonna um, activate those two buttons. Kill yourself. Spawn. And now the host, which gives you the first, is going to go down, hit the button, and you take the armor. What you have to be? Okay, not that close actually, okay. Uh, if you don't lose armor, just either die, or the person survives, or just like, go to the corner like this. Yeah, it's gonna be the end of chapter 6 now, so... Wait, no, 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 I think I'm... I think this this, 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 this map is still no more, actually. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Okay, so, um... Basic stuff, you just jump over the gap, just go here. You, even if you're fast enough, effective enough, you're gonna get pushed by your teammate. It's gonna be fast. Uh, those are always kinda, like, bad, too. Operate and um, here there's a um, jump you can go to or like secure way I guess but like it's this one is pretty straightforward actually just jump and like strafe into the ladder um, it's just another position it's very simple strafe strafe you can take some take some damage here it's okay um, I always go to the right of the fish and just go like this like always. The other person got, can take armor if he wants. Like, there's like, if you're forward, and he thinks you can make it just go forward, and the other one just like goes down here and takes armor. You're just um, being effective at the helps. Damn. All straight here, you can get on top of it instead of like this. You should probably like. Mm, you shouldn't do it like fastly because you can. It's actually pretty easy to miss. You just line yourself up and just jump with crouch. Uh, also, this is actually pretty important. Like it might lose your 15 seconds. You just like you hop as much as you want here, like as fast as you can. But at the end there, he's gonna fall. And the thing is, not land on the table because then it won't like uh, go to the other map. You just see it really fast, and you go. You have to go back because it. Won't. Okay, it will. But the thing is, it won't if um, if you're far, far enough. So I have to check for that. Okay, that was chapter 6. Yep. So instead of jumping, he, bas he basically, like, he placed it... Oh, okay, actually, no, where? But, like, he placed it on, like, a sweet spot. And then, like, he didn't have to jump. No, I <laughs> oh, guess the other way, then. No, it didn't explode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going to jump in well, well, why did... Oh, okay. Let's see if you can still jump. Cool. Yeah. Also, remember to like not stand, uh, not go into the wall, because then it it's worse apparently. That was actually a bad one. You got it all. Okay, then you drop your medkit. The other guy, so he has enough. Down. And FPS, the host FPS maxes that up. Fast slow, fast slow. Now. Fast slow. 
and then you're either gonna get stuck in there, and then you just press the unstuck button, or uh, you're gonna just get go down and finish the level like this. Okay, so this is chapter 8, uh, on the rail, you skip that. And on our world without uh, cars, I guess. It's just like, okay, so there's gonna be. You have to take some damage here, it's best with like having armor. And there's like a split here. <clears throat> you go for that, all that. And you have two choices now. You can either go. You either go there. <laughs> like, okay, let's uh, do the old one, old one first. Get the tower. Get this turret. Not like this. Hope this by just pressing E. And depends even if you had armor or not. If you had armor and you lost, like, let's say 20 or something, you go down. And get to here. And suicide. You're gonna have a respawn right here. And you can pass through. Uh, the other option is, uh, but you, you need to have a partner who is just as fast as you are, like yeah, maximum five seconds behind. So you both go here, crouch. Crouch, jump, gonna boost them up, and he's gonna click the button, and you just guys both go through here. The same, the same tactic. Like if you that armor, just come here, find this thing, and you respawn. Yeah, dude. Okay. So what we do is come here. The other guy goes on the top of your face and jumps. Best did. Oh, nice dude. Gets the E and it's open, and then just suicide again because there's a respawn right here. Yeah. So you just. Here, this guy, um, get those nades right here. Uh, I didn't load in, I didn't do the trick with assault rifle to get assault rifle, so I can't really use them. But you're gonna, they do some deploying with DPS on the end of this map, they're gonna actually help you. Either push this or just go for here. This guy in the middle of here, in the fight. Uh, mine's right here. Their fight, they should ignore you. And those, the three guys right here, you should use the, the nades for them. But since I don't have a assault rifle, I can't. Also, this gun, for some reason, is pretty inaccurate. I don't know if it's fan cop or it's actually just half life. Yeah, and just go to that uh, right there. Okay, the thing in the next is wait, am I doing wrong? Right. Yeah. Uh, go through here. Depends on your aggro. If we're gonna do some damage. Uh, go under them. And uh, we can go to the ladder or here. There's a guy down there with aimbot. So we can, yeah. I assume people. Uh, there's a new spawn right here. And it's often like with uh, Stoku. And get this ammo right here. Some of it. Like 70 60 should be good enough. Um, now it's just pure P hop again. Rocket launcher right here. Ah, oh, that was fast, so bad. That was also really bad. Just don't do that and uh, you will be fine. <laughs> okay, so there's two things here. It depends on your B-Hop, to be honest. Like, if you have all of speed, you can go through this and go around. If you don't have that much speed and uh, you think you can kill those you guys in your way, so they don't block you, it's, it's faster by a few seconds. Yeah. 
there's another respawn right here. Just skip those those guys to the right. So there's no point in fighting them. There's a small trick right here. Let's go with the wall. Shoot the uh, explosives. Uh, armor here, 25 if you want. If you need it. Electricity, and there's gonna be bombs here. Go through here to skip them. And even have some armor left actually. Yeah. Okay, so there's a trick here, like not a trick, but like also. You fall down here, you fall on that, and you want, if you did right, do it right, I'm bad at it. Uh, then you want to take full damage. Um, yeah, I was actually slow. But uh, it's better that I actually can even die here, and it's gonna trigger a new respawn. And yeah, just show your armor. 32 armor is actually pretty good. And you shouldn't care about that gun, to be honest. There's just too much time. Oh, but also a really huge, huge thing. If you're reloading, you can't use almost any pads or whatsoever. So, like, I'm spamming you right now. Nothing happens. And um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> also never spam pads, because like if I uh, well actually can I even no I can't wait if I spam a pad like look at this it won't open because I spammed it but if you let it finish like this goes right away this is pretty important. Not die right here, probably. I don't know my assault rifle. I'm pretty sure I'm dead if I go there. Okay. One health, wow. Surprise, surprise. Okay. So there's two ways to go, uh, to go in here. If you're pretty close to each other, you can just suicide in there. It's pretty effective, actually. Um, there's two other ways. And there's this way, which... Um, remember the shift? Like the crouch doesn't work as you think it does. It takes half a second to actually crouch. So like the model isn't instant. So let's say if you like go up this um, staircase stairs, so the stairs and like crouch like here, there's a chance you're actually gonna hit with your head because uh, that's how it works. That's how models works in this game. Um, so crouch before. Go on this ledge right here and just like simple jump over. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's also uh, this this one where you. That's the wrong way. Where you do this. Fuck. Oh my god. This, this, this. I find it faster. Yeah, okay. I find it. <laughs> Find faster just to crouch here, here. But also a thing, like yeah, I'll just show you. Like like this. Just don't go too fast because then you're gonna trigger it. Okay, so there's two There's two shotgunners right here. Yeah, you probably should just shotgun this one. I mean, one shotgun and this assault rifle guy. Um, just kill them and go through here. Stand close to this button to actually hit it. And do the resurrect glitch down to, um, like here. This one is really freaking easy, actually. You just die. I just do fast all the time. No, 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 not yeah. exact. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, you you see, so that they, you're on the complete button and I can still the resurrect here. So there's literally no skill in this one. I mean, no, we're all done this. We're all pro. I'm stuck. <laughs> you have all of time in the world. It's like, like 20 seconds or something to do anything you want. 
because uh, this doesn't open until uh, that, that door and the other opens. Let's get this. And uh, yeah, this was chapter 9. This is a continuation of chapter 9. Um, Jesus, take the wheel. There's a ladder trick right here, which you can do. Like, uh, you just hold the ladder, like, take the ladder on the, on the edge so you don't take damage. What I usually do is just, uh, just go down like this. It's safest and it doesn't require skill. You destroy this, most probably destroy this box and get those and uh, the cart. Go to one of the sides. You can leave your partner behind because, yeah, sometimes you get stuck like this. You have to, like, not. Um, you be close because then, as you see, you can get stuck. So you have to like not hold any, not, not holding anything. Jump down here, water. Uh, pretty straightforward here. Like you just avoid the leeches. They sometimes damage you and slow you down. Crouch right here. Crouch. You don't even have to take this arrow right here. Like, but sometimes you can. Safest place you just like do like this, but you, you don't even have to. You can just literally skip it, and uh, if you have enough health, you can do it. Yeah. There's a one leech right here. Skip it, and if, like after one second, you go out to the water. You can start towards strafing, and uh, if you're two player, just go down. Like uh, I'm gonna actually just go suicide. If you're two player, the is fastest way is just to go down here. Go to the barnacle, and someone shoots you, and uh, you will land there with the exit. But uh, if someone no, like the, any other way is uh, worse, except the one, which requires more skill. You have a sequence of you have a, a sequence of B hop, not like I do because uh, I'm really rusty, I'm really bad. But what you do is like hop for here, jump for here, and uh, get to that that platform without the final call. Yeah, there's kind of no other way, like there's also the, the actual way which is this, but it's way it's so slow it, there's literally no point in trying to do this. Just go from the battle call and like yeah, go up here. You don't even have to hold you just go into battle call, wait until your feet are above this and just uh, drop down. Probably... Yeah, I'm gonna try to not actually hold W even and see if it's like you know if it's left. Shoot it. Did shoot it. Yeah, you don't even have to hold W here. You no, know, this is this ledge is too too far, dude. That, that's the thing. Okay, <laughs> okay, that was basically it. You have to go into the barnacle. Someone shoots you down when you're like, like here. We call this map. We hit assassins. Mm. Okay, let's start. First, like choice for here is like either. What I always do is to go to this ledge, back strafe, and just like just go there. What Fuchi always does is I think jumps here and just goes like this. I might be even better, to be honest. So like, you just do this. It's fast, pretty fast. But you do, you don't don't destroy the boxes because even like I'm gonna show you something interesting. If you destroy the box right here, like this, if that guy will spawn, this guy will spawn. Also, wait, where's the that? Where is it? There's another guy right here. Oh no, if you go there, there's another guy will spawn. So there's literally no point of uh, going like don't. Just don't touch that box. If you if you destroy it two like, times, just do this. Now what you do is you do a circle jump and a jump right to get to this part right here. You can maintain your B hop. But what you can do is a new one and um, go on this part right here, like and then go to that that light right there. It's not um, that easy because of the water right here. It does save uh, some time, and then just hold strafe to here. Uh, you can also go this way, the water, like it's not 
not as slow and what you do is go to water and go up here but uh, it's faster to go up the light you can there's also a trick here to go up the light light let me no are you okay there you go I don't actually know how he does it at least Fuchu goes up the light like huh I've actually no no clue how he does it oh oh it's interesting oh like this okay so you have to like move into this right here like move into it yeah and crouch me there and then you ha then you're here you can probably even even go come on but on such light you can uh, get bugged in it apparently as you can clearly see i think you can yeah you can just jump out of the blue thing right here it's a bit harder but like come on <laughs> But like it's still good. So what you do is here, here, no strafe. It's probably just like it's okay to get some like damage in here. To be honest. Now what you do is destroy that box and circle jump from here to here. Take the ladder, cord. Try to. Um, Kill all those slaves and those headcrabs in the fastest way possible. Oh, he didn't actually die from that. They just... Wow. So the, the other person... Motherfucker. So the, the other person goes for the this fight here. And the other one takes 70 armor. You're gonna lose armor here. because it's. Uh, you can jump over him right here. But uh, it best would be to go for the mid right here. Destroy the slave with your shotgun and just go to left here. You can wall strafe pretty well on, in this section. Okay. There's some health right here if you need it. And now, um, there's gonna be a slave appearing, respawning behind you. I mean, not behind you, but like, like look at this. Come on. Like here. You want you want to shoot them and you want what if you want to shoot them so the other guy can pass behind them and like just be holding them. Uh, this takes like about two or three seconds. Yeah, two two seconds to activate. And so the one person is gonna have uh, armor right here for the assassins. The person which does have the armor. You can actually like make a circle jump right here and get some strafes into like this, uh, even though you're slowed. Um, the, I'm gonna show you now the armor person. What's the route? Go through here. Get the, I'll skip all the assassins to be honest. There's no point in uh, killing this and just open this. While like to that, like almost that point. The other person can take some armor, like, it doesn't have to, but like 20 or something is good. And just wait for that so this opens, so you can pass through here and uh, get to this room, so they get you. Now, in this version, as I have, like, we're, you're gonna lose all your weapons, because it's the older one. And you can't do the tricks with saving them. So, what you will do is the host can get boosted up if there's two players. What the, what the host has to do is to hold W and uh, right and spawn and uh, crouch and spawn jump, <coughs> spam jump. So he will get on top of the crates faster. But uh, what we'll do, what we do is, oh, I don't have enough health. Wow. Like we have found, you found out? No, please, no, guy, no. Yeah, it's too late. But, uh, wait, can I actually restart? Please, can I restart? Probably can't. Yeah, mother... Right back. Okay, so you, when you get catched... The, 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 the host goes up and goes for the crowbar. The early crowbar. And what the other player does is follows, follows the host 
for a few boxes and stands on top of top of them, then jumps down the to the oh, what to call it actually hatch I guess. And uh, if you do self damage or like damage from falling, you're gonna um, open the hatch because it's programmed that way. What? Okay, I'm gonna actually try to show it from uh, the other angle, like without. Uh, yeah. Apparently missed because you have to you have to hit it midway. I'm gonna try to show it right now. Like this. I didn't have to, I didn't even have to hit it. Yeah, and this was chapter nine, finally. Okay, so this is chapter ten, residual processing. Uh there's a neat little trick, like right down here, but like <clears throat> the first thing you do, um you either go the easy path, like the easy B hop right here. Or if you have enough speed and some good B hops, you can just go on top of this stone and save half a second. There's a neat little trick right here. Uh, basically what you do is just go into this corner, like you have to hold crouch, die, uh, the person revives you, and voila, you respawn in, in here. Okay, so you come here, you don't go for the switch right here, but you just, the first person goes into here, dies, the other one just spawns him. Yep, he's there. But it's, it was really simple, There, it's also one of the easiest to resurrect in this game. And you just wait for the, your comrade to back there. It's really 10 out of 10. It skips the waiting part. Uh, now there's a respawn right here, so the others can respawn. I am pleased about this section, but like you can actually get a good B hop like this and get more speed in there. Our efficiency. It's often pretty like, it's faster just to like kind of strafe like this. In the, in the vents. Yep. Uh, crouch under this one. Um, there's a se I'm gonna actually make another video, but there's a, there's a thing like there's a drop right here. I mean, there's wreck glitch right there, on there, and it's actually it might might actually work. It's fury crafting, like if it's fast enough. We're not sure yet, and yet, but like, you know. Straightforward. Uh, the other people will respawn right now on the sides, so you can simply die here and replenish your health to 100, which you might need. Oh yeah, this neat, neat trick right here. Mm. When you go, when you're in this water, like right here, go on top of it, spam crouch and uh, mouse wheel. Uh, but so basically, uh, jump and uh, jump and crouch, and something like this will happen. Uh, for some reason, it just boosts you like really well. The more you spam it, the faster you go. Uh, you don't need to crouch here; just follow the, just go down basically like this. There's also a, a trick right here, but I, uh, I haven't actually like. Not good. So one person, there should be two people right here now. One goes there. Uh, Makes the middle one. So, you can follow through. Take this armor. You don't have to time it. Oh wow, we actually bugged out. We don't have to, have to time it, but um, it's often good to like just. Because there's a small chance nothing, you can pass through nothing. Like, not like this, but like. Sometimes you can't can pass through anything. And then you're stuck again, you have to wait and uh, click again. Or have some good p hops. Oh, I should have mentioned something. Damn. That was the ballsy strat. If you don't think you can do it, like, if you think you can fail, there's always this door right here, which you can open, and it leads you from down here to here. And it's. Uh, you sh shouldn't have problems here. Uh, this part is really tricky actually. It's we've died on this way too many times. And it's basically like not dying from for do, from those. Uh you can either go I should actually show you. Like that was bad. Either do like like this. Keep your speed and go in there. 
or you can all also uh, just so this is a bit tricky one because you have to like circle jump pretty well and I oh, I don't think I can so you should come out of here like in the way of crouching and uh, you like that, like this the thing is don't, f don't try to fall on this uh, because then you're gonna lose a lot of health but instead try to uh, do something like this slide out of it and then you have enough health to pass through here I'm not gonna survive this actually I think oh, that actually doesn't give my armor I understand uh, just jump down here, jump down here, jump down here. Uh, those mines are 10 out of 10. You can jump over them, or you think you can do I think you can even shoot them right here. Wait. Yeah, they're like. Sometimes if you shoot like inside of the, like a side of them, they, they, they don't explode for some reason, so it's 10 out of 10. More bee hopping. And I'm gonna die here if I don't. I, I think I'm gonna die here anyway, yeah. It's actually really bad of me. Okay, so now here, don't try go right away, just wait for the. I don't know, wall strafe. And this is this section. Okay, so this is chapter 11, uh, quest, quest, questionable ethics. Um, the host is faster there, so um, just get up, uh, wreck the thing on the top, and uh, the other person should just. Uh, Respawn by killing himself and respawn. Yep. Also, like that, kill yourself to replenish your ammo. Like you don't have to reload six bullets. Uh, here, side, so shoot this glass panel, and it's like I highly suggest you just kill him. Like there's a small. Like to kill him in one shot, because uh, he will follow you and they can mess you up really freaking well when you think there was a red switch. Four more grunts. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna show off another strat <clears throat> for this map, HLC10. Uh, what you do is Go with your partner. It's the fastest way for this map. Go with your partner. Uh, open this. Take crossbow and uh, die. And the other person takes five snarks and goes uh, here. And here, they, they they both go to this place right here. Uh, they get healed up. They both heal each other up. They both go to each other up and a crossbow boost up here. When they are here, um, one person stands here, uh, holds uh, crouch A and W, and just spams jump, while the other one uh, does a precise snark glitch and boosts him upwards out of the map. I'm gonna show it like in this way right now. And then what he does is he get boosted right here. And uh, now what you do is go down here, like down here, take probably about probably a hundred armor is the smartest. Oh wow, yeah, okay. Go on top of this, top of his, top of this, and now you want to get get uh, actually first well, you could technically <clears throat> yeah, destroy the stuff in those boxes and disturb it you don't have to destroy the second one but for like if you want to be <coughs> take less damage then just do it go under like about here and die and die and uh, die me there like when you're going up so you're gonna go start going down I'm gonna sorry mode one okay uh, what you do is jump and die like midway when when you're going up. What's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is 
you're gonna get go down like this are you serious okay it doesn't sure it's glitch I guess doesn't matter you're gonna go down and then uh, your teammate who stands right there is gonna reject you in in there like right here and with 100 armor now you have 100 armor you're gonna break you, you can't open this so you're basically gonna open this glass and um, just be hop through them and that's basically the level Don't take the armor yet. There's no point. Sega shoes. There you go. Um, go with, with your golf martyr right here. Like right here. And do the resurrect leakage down. It's pretty actually pretty far. Uh, it's one of the. One, well, no, it's one of the hardest one, harder ones. Like, this one is one of the actually harder ones. We failed it, we didn't actually fail it, I think, but like, it's actually longer, like you can, this distance is longer here. Fast, slow, fast, slow, okay, I can, now? No, holy shit, did, <laughs> okay, did you do it, like, randomly, did it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, that was a key fucking pro. Give them a bunch of times, so you learn them by, like, uh, off Yeah, 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 like, but... Just like I did, kind of, you know. And when you get here, um, just like, step meters from the door I think yeah it will open and um, then you go forward like um, just that and the other person should just get 100 armor not not like the just basically the whole thing because it will replenish when you come back here in the end of the uh, yeah so you just go here up the stairs uh, so it's nice to slide here instead of like going on the stairs because it's slower slide yeah, this is what's a bad one actually. Uh, you can't jump on the stairs like you do in some places. You have to like actually do it afterwards, so it won't block you. Wow, surprised. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't know actually they were doing like this until... Um, you have to go here, like, like approximately here. And what will happen is we're gonna trigger the bombs, which are gonna explode, like... Watch the surgery afterwards, like in like 30 seconds or something. So you just go forward, kill those, like, there's gonna be one ground here and like one here, probably. Uh, should go for this one. And at this point, like, the other person should be like going in there. Or even in, in, in here, but it's it's gonna be still locked for him for a few seconds. So probably in there. And um, just follow, this is gonna open when you come here. This get the cost. Yeah, I love us. Um, and uh, there's like four Hondas right here. It's pretty straightforward, and then um, someone pushes the box, or someone pushes the box, and then the other one just uh, is the switch. Here's the button action. Um, and it's you have to heal the person who got boosted down because it's gonna be low on health, like you can see here. Will actually die from the fall, pretty, pretty sure. Actually not. And you get this scientist. He never, he never talked. Okay, yeah, nice. Uh, he never, he never like talks in the beginning. You can move him with M if you get the uh, right timing. You just yeah, me too, me too. There might be some enemies right here, and we might be scared of him. Yeah, he's also... He also, he also like, talks right there about something, so I so have to so click him again. Exactly, Barney is fighting one of the grunts right now. And this guy is really scared because reasons. Ugh, me too. He didn't even kill him yet. Are you serious? Come on. Ugh. Maybe take all the re the armor replenish like to 100 again, and one of the one of the per gets cost, the other one just 
this in the back and shoots this while the other just loaded the goss. Yeah, this pretty sure it was questionable ethic. Yep. Okay, this is chapter 12. Uh, surface, ten surface ten tension. Get ghosts on the uh, map before. What you do is loading the ghosts, opening this. It depends on your armor action level. You probably should. Uh, if you have like above 60 armor, you can skip all those four guys right here, like those two and those two right there, and just like go through them, go through them right, like. Yeah, let's give a fuck about them and go further here. I'm gonna have to kill. Them. Oh my god. Yeah, this is impossible with without armor. Just saying. Like you're gonna have to clean everything out and then do this trick right here, which requires you to have like 60 health. So you boost out. Probably let erect the armor. Like this. You can't even go for the ladder, but it's oh, okay. Yeah, you have to basically have armor. The helicopter does all of damage actually. And the, the, that's the way you should do it, like it's the fastest way, but if you don't have enough armor and you're dying all the time, you should probably uh, go for the intended way, it loses some time, but like, you can get uh, in this water right here pretty fast, go up the ladder, and y if you're too fast actually, you should probably, like, if you're too fast, this bridge will blow up and it might, might actually cause you to some damage, open this, Go down the water, or I'm not actually. I'm sorry, I'm not going down the water. Just the second person jumps into the water right now because I think it's overflown. It is okay. Yeah, you just jump down, and that's the slower way, but much safer. Safer. Okay, the last one, one right here. Twenty-five armor. Okay, so one person goes to the mines, the second one opens this, open this vault right here. Depends on your armor level, you should, mo like, if you trust the other person, you should probably just, like, suicide right here and take the rest re rest of the armor. Uh, if the other person fails, it's, that's actually okay, like, it loses, like, 15 seconds. And uh, the first person, the one who goes for the mines, there's, oh god, okay, there's a few places right here. Which are really 10 out of 10 mines. There's one right here which is really like. Um, it's. There's a few. Uh, um, yeah, you can't see it now. Uh, there's one right here and there's also one right here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, right here. And this one can really mess you up because if you're doing this jump right here, you can. Oh, I don't actually want to go up here. <laughs> what you want to do is actually like try to strafe over the, over this mine and get here because it's a much easier angle to go down to and not hit the mines as well. And it's really easy jump, but don't die of it though. And there's level change right here. Yeah, this is the second part. Um, this is a really interesting map, you probably should have some armor right here, like about probably 50. And there's all multiple ways to do this one, like in the beginning at least. Uh, and it's it can be really risky or really good, like... You prob probably you should destroy that third first, first, then get some... Get this jump, and get this jump, and land near on the rock. If you manage to land on the rock, it will trigger, trigger a spawn right there, and it's the... Um, it's most definitely the fastest ways to get that spawn. And there's actually, there's other ways as well. One of them is like this. The easiest one is probably just going down here, just following the path. Uh, you can also jump down here to do some damage. But like, I'm gonna actually try it again. No, I lost some speed again. Serious? It's also pretty actually smart to not low your full ghost right here. I got it. Yep. 
Now you see the helicopter and now you spawn with the bazooka. It's pretty pretty good. It's pretty good. And it's actually not that hard as well, which makes it so much better. Uh, there's also another like oh wait, I have don't think I can spawn up there, no. Uh actually I'm actually I'm to the minimap. map. There's another one right here, like just go down, kill this guy. And uh, you can boost from this stone or from here. To there. Actually, I well, almost made it. Wow. Wait! Okay, that's actually discovering new strats right here. So, apparently, to hit it... Okay, okay, that's interesting. Okay, that, that's actually good to know. I'm gonna make it for... I'm gonna remember about this. You can, you can get up there, basically. Like, you don't even have to, have, you have to spawn, but then you, you, won't, you won't have the bazooka if nobody takes it. That's one of the problems, and the bug, uh, the spawns will probably be bugged. What I missed for a second. Okay, what you do is to go down here, kill this guy again. You can go on this rock and get this, but the thing is, this might actually like wreck you. So, po probably what you should do is kind of this, but you better be better than me. And yeah, there's a trigger right there. If you hit the stone, then um, like the upper part of the wall, it's gonna work the spawn. So it's actually not that like it's actually a pretty good tactic. I'm gonna go for this actually. Nice. Uh, you obviously should most definitely kill the. Oh god, seriously. Helicopter, it's really annoying, especially like when you move those uh, those ladders, which are really bugged. Okay, so those two ladders are the most bugged in the entire game. Uh, you can get stuck in them really easily. Like they're ten of ten. Like I'm, I should technically up the ladder right here, but I can't because it's it's just that well designed, I guess. Uh, the thing is. You should always try to go on the, on the right side of it, like this, and you won't get stuck. Uh, just It's the same with, uh, with this, uh, this other right here. This, oh, I can actually... No, some more... oh god. Some more ghosts. Bazooka, probably bazooka this, bazooka those two guys, go for their button, open it for your teammate or yourself, you probably have, uh, probably have, maybe have armor here, so you might actually just be able to just go there and go to, to the second part, F. You respawn right here as well. Uh, you should actually don't have any armor right here uh, because there's a trick on like in in the in the end. Okay, so there's mines right, right there. You can do do the safe strat just like uh, ro rocketing them, with them, or you can just go and go with this wall, with this wall, with this wall. It's that easy. When you touch this, you can just cross boot. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm alone, so the values are worse, so I can't push myself up there, because I'm bad, as well. Like, you can clearly, I should have gone all the way up, down, up there for some, like, it, for some reason, the copy is designed like, like this, it's just, that's how it works, I guess. I don't think I can get there. Like, yeah, I can get like this, but... Anyway, like it's much easier if you're two players or even three. You have to go over yeah, here as well. Like when when you when you hit it, you can crossbow from anywhere up here. Then it's literally saves going all around it, or uh, like going through this uh, electricity one, which you could die from. But you don't have to just like go all this up and destroy those. You just have to hit this thing right here, go on it basically. And then it's everything here is open, and this is I think chapter.
Oh, it's not done yet, I think. No, I think this is just last map. Okay, so you... Uh, I don't usually do this part, so it might be bad. But like, some more b-hops. Uh, if you wreck any of those mines, we have to restart the level. So, kinda, be kind of careful. Go on the up of this mine, this box, and here. Uh, you should care for the... the that hip can actually trigger all of those mines. So, uh, right side of the button. I suck at this level. And three ones right here. If you do it well, not like I did, you can just skip them. Yeah, that's chapter 12. Okay, there's gonna be a tutorial on uh, chapter 12, surface tension. And the first thing you're gonna do is load up your gauze and wall strafe with this wall, like this. And boost yourself here. Okay, uh, but I'm gonna explain it in more detail. There's a turret right here, it doesn't matter probably because you're gonna be fast enough to skip it. But this ledge right here is really good for um, maintaining your speed. So, like, basically this. But if you. Oh god, that was so bad. But if you don't, like. Uh, you see, oh, uh, they didn't hit anything here, and I got blocked by this ledge right here because of my speed. So what you want to do is crouch on the top of it to not lose the speed and go to the right. Something along those lines. And you can get really far, really fast until here. Wait for it to explode, and then boost yourself up here. This is the full one. Probably rocket, rocket him. Go down here, and there's a new spawn right here. Also, this amazing wall. Whenever you hit this wall, you always spawn bounce bounce back like by this like here. So it's it's ten of ten made wall actually. So just always wreck this one. And there's a boost right here with Goss, but since I'm so bad with with Goss, I can't do it. So what I always do is. Okay, uh, it's kind of wrecked now, so I'm gonna actually yeah, just step it. Mm, back here, here, go on top of those crates. In early, early versions, you could shoot that uh, with four rockets, but you can't anymore. So you have to actually use this to shoot it, and then uh, the other person goes in. This. So, well, how it looks like is this, skip them. If you're too slow here, you're gonna get uh, wrecked by the bombers. There's a sniper there, you can always kill him with uh, this. But if, if you're low right here and you can't crossbow, you can either get boosted like this and healed, or uh, goss. But since I'm so bad, uh, yeah, I could make it. wall and if you completely fail you can always go around but it's not worth because like there's three grunts right there and if you fail like uh, fighting like, if you don't manage to be as fast on the other side uh, just kill all the grunts and then be hope through it with cause when you come here like that guy is not fast enough for you to move from your rocket you just something like this it's the uh, easiest way to kill him and um, you can miss your hop from here to here. Then you have to go. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to go to this. There's another guy right here, apparently, even in all. Like this, and then you have to do it again. I think. You can also. Is it also this path, apparently? Yeah, it's it's slower. I guess it's safer. If you have lost your health. I actually didn't know that. You can just up down here. Uh, now what what I do is you go here with our health, kill yourself, go go in middle of them, this and go to yourself here, so that you don't get blocked. And now this, you see it two times. There, there might be sometimes uh, the big guy here, 
So the your partner should uh, should try to kill them kill them with gloss. Avoid all of them and get to here. And that's basically the map. Yeah, yeah, I actually did. Let's not open. Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> if you hit it correctly, you won't uh, open this vent, and then there won't yeah. come out snarks. But the, the snark, the snark. Good. It worked out. Uh, really always good. best to cobar him or her um, shotgun. And also, like, you probably shouldn't like just this forget it. Shoot the rocket right here. Yeah. You can always wait them to wait it right here, like in the middle, so you can shoot shoot rocket then. And you have to wreck the snark. Uh, this is another resurrect. This one actually pretty simple. Press slow, press slow now. Okay, and then you basically goss. Uh, there's a wall somewhere here which you get insta wrecked, so I don't recommend actually using goss that early. So is it here? Yeah, if the second player was a bit taking respawn again. It's also a uh, survival mode spawn instead. Wait, and that's there's, close to me. there's two, like, uh, mo you can do two things here. You can either set this up. And shoot rockets on it, or shoot four rockets on that. Uh, what do you call it, actually? And then you just use ghost to get over. Yeah. In some cases, it's actually faster, faster to actually do the rockets instead of the airstrike. But it really depends on your reloads and how fast you set it up. I mean, most of the time, it's the rockets that are fast, but. Yeah. So this map is called uh, Forget About Freeman, it's uh, for chapter 13. Uh, in the beginning right here, do you have a, a um, there's a timing window where you can push yourself and get to, I don't think I can get it because I'm bad at it. Yeah, yeah it's suicide. Um, there's a timing window which you can like get in here, out, oh like that, wow, we smashed. Uh, here, just a lot of ghosts, get a lot of speed, and not lose it like I just did. Go for this guy, you probably won't die here, you can just attack it or just click on it, and just go down here. This trigger has a new respawn. If you have problems with those guys, just literally look at them. A lot of ghosts, go for here, don't get wrecked by this. You can, your partner can help you, if you're a noob like I am right now, alone. Um, there's a screw up here, just put up ghosts and get up here. Don't get, don't get going to that, and just like boost himself up here. Uh, the one who who's up has to crouch and spawn jump, and basically go over with this thing. Yep. And also, did, what do you do to jump, like, because sometimes when I boosted someone else, they got stuck in this one. Uh, I just hold crouch and I slam. When you get over here, over the, okay, nice. You get over here, you just go to this water here, kill this guy. Uh not like this. Kill this guy, doesn't even matter. You can just and you're gonna respawn here. A lot load up ghosts, ghosts. There's two modes, you can do fuck yeah, the fit on that one. <laughs> you can either do what I always do, jump in here, because yourself you don't have enough health to survive this. And there's a small trick right here. I'm gonna show it when I show the other tr shutter route. You can also go through this. It's a bit faster, but it's harder to hit. Uh, what you do here is go pretty close to this, hit hit E on this, and then go as fast as you can here and just press uh, just spam E. Well, but what we it will do is it will bring the elevator much faster than usual because it's actually still there. So like this. Yep. Go so that. Now die and just you can dupe some ammo. Yep, that was something. Probably you should probably uh, if you go like this, you should just oh god, okay he didn't die. Nice. Just uh, bazooka them, it's worth it. Probably bazooka those guys, usually. You would want to. Uh, like a, but not like a mist, and this this is a pretty precise shot. Like you can't get, you can't kill all three of them in one shot. If you don't have, uh, if your partner is back, uh, which opens, uh, which can then open the gate, and uh, it's pretty powerful. You should try to not 
Because then you have problems with those guys, and then if you have no armor, you're literally so hard. Okay, you open this with one, and then when this closes, like when you see it's not moving, click it. Because if you spam it, it will, um, uh, it won't load. It, it, it will be stuck for like uh, five seconds or something. Okay, so this is um, chapter 14, Lambda Core. You spawn in here. We hope to here. Going down. Okay, there's a trick right here. If you hold S, as I'm doing right now, uh, it will go backwards. And also with the wall, you go faster. So um, while you're falling down, just like you have to time it. So you have to kind of like jump right here. And you will land on the yellow things right here. So what it will do is like it gives you more speed, as well as um, you don't take damage and it's faster than going up the ladder. You keep maintaining your B hop, drop down, get some speed. No, don't do that. Almost that's wrong. My B hop is really wooden at the moment because I haven't played it in a time, long time. Uh, avoid those. Go down. And now there's a trick right here with ghosts, which uh, I can't do, because I'm bad. I'm really bad. I mean, I completely fucking suck. The assassins will always win the same spot in this match, so you just need to uh, make sure to but, avoid them. Uh, uh, also, their movement is uh, dependent on how you move. So usually they will like go at you know the normal way, but sometimes you might be actually surprised to how they go. And also there's one assassin like one up there. Sometimes that like goes after you after you go down the eleva elevator. Doesn't happen often for me, but happens sometimes for Future. In this spot, I usually just Sorry. I didn't have a health there, but I think like four or five ammo, and you have enough. But this is for two player. Uh, every time there's an additional or fewer amount of players, you do different damage, so you're going to need to vary your strength. Okay. Sometimes six ammo. So what I do is basically you have rocket launcher reloaded. Go down here, crouch, B hop onto those boxes, destroy those boxes, shoot a rocket right here, and oh, fun. yeah, definitely like that. Shoot the rocket up here and then land it. I think I killed him at least. Yeah, okay. So now what you do is just strafe up with this with those stairs, get more speed and just pure hop. Sometimes you get unlucky with the assassins and they're gonna shoot you down. But it doesn't happen. You just spam to the button. You should have your ghost loaded right now. Go here, open this. Try to shoot those two guys at once. So you don't have to... Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm playing alone. So the... Oh, my God. I'm playing alone, so the damage values are different. Because obviously this game is 10 of 10 design, design 10 of 10. And I had zero armor as well, which you usually have some here. And now we have to kill all of those other guys. Like, and then the scientist will open the door. Just go through here. You should go as fast here and just crouch and hit this so he will come. And now what you can do is suicide to get the armor down. Go under here and do uh, the crossbow trick. To go up here and hit it. Don't reload your crossbow while you're um, clicking this because uh, you, you can't click buttons while you're reloading. There's a blue gun right here. That does, you don't have to take it. You're gonna hit it anyway. And let's see. Because I don't think you have to actually go down there. Yeah, you do. So just. Yeah, okay. Now this uh, second map. Okay. So there's a trick right in this map. To just boost downwards and I'm pretty make sure you keep the okay yeah. so we do the, the first one right right we'll show the first one like the resurrect one just down here 
Okay, so this is the most ballsy strat of them all, and it's the fastest one as well. You're dying, as, as usual. Didn't forget. Tell me when you're I'm done. thunder. Okay. It's also smart to actually drop some medkit at the beginning of the map here. You don't. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm right behind you, dude. But you're behind me? Oh. <laughs> now, now that makes sense. <laughs> Make sure to turn off your FPS here. I mean, uh, turn it off. Yes, yeah. or, or else you get stuck in the And you Yeah, yeah, this precise shot. Okay. Uh, okay, nice. So this crossbow shot is pretty freaking 10 of 10. Yeah, you need, you to, have, to... You need to shoot in the middle, or else it won't do it properly. And then I'll shoot. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. And also the lasers now will punch at you. Yeah, on the oh. damage, you damage you took. If you have enough, if you have enough health, then you can survive. Him, but... Oh fuck! I messed up. <laughs> but basically, you'll be fine. Just wait. And they always like um, do the same. Uh, what's called again? Pattern. Yeah, but they activate uh, after a certain amount of time. Yeah, so you have some time in the on the first floor to actually yeah. like not but get it, hit by it. Yeah, but the problem is if, if you go too fast, you'll get instantly hit. So. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm just gonna uh, show you the easy way. I mean, like the not not skillful in a way. Way. Uh, you have to activate both orange and blue. So what you do is just go down. You can just pass through this. Uh, yeah, doesn't you take don't take damage. You have Logan right here. Wait, fuck. You know, so you can actually kill them and don't die like I'm gonna do right now. He's gonna be a spawn right here, yeah. He's probably gonna kill me because I uh, balance in all things. Yeah, and he's gonna, gonna probably kill me actually. Oh my god, just barely not. And what you do is basically you hit this and you suicide. Oh, wow, that's so close. Now you go to the other one. You can go through the water to save uh, some HP. Uh, again, blue gun. Another guy right here. Right here, and just open this and yeah. Right. Uh, now we just go around all the way. Oh, that's bad. Go down, down here. And just walk straight with this so it's faster. Um. Yeah, that's the like easiest and uh, easiest way to do this map. Those yeah. Now what you do is this is actually pretty important. Click this once. Wait so the water will actually go all the way up. Like this. Wait one second and then click this. Because if you don't, if you do it too fast, then it's stuck forever. That was uh, def definitely the right weapon to do it with. This route we're doing right now is my probably the fastest. Also, like one of the most trickiest, though. What you do is, is basically, um, you can actually try again. Uh, go with this ladder. You use the crossbow or like even shotgun to kill this guy. Jump over to the ladder. I'll go up here. Jump to the ladder again, and you have to now go from here to this and don't go into the middle basically because then you're gonna get struck by this and yeah you got it now the last chamber the last map in no second last map in uh, this chapter at least i think so uh you go up like it, there's a way to go i'll actually show both uh the fastest way you just go through here crossbow boost go up i take health well either here just to health back here Oh, and there's uh wait there's anything oh yeah i just want you to show the pro the pro jump basically yeah. because i am bad i actually never tried it i'll explain it if you can yeah uh basically you need to hit the wall perpendicular uh i mean like, just look straight at it and go towards it and just shoot, shoot while jumping with, with the crouch 
Yeah, it's important to hit it in the middle. Uh, sometimes you won't get enough and you'll land like around here. You can still pick it up if you have enough help, maybe. Or if you hit the right angle. Um, yeah, also like if, if you can't do that, just like go on the top and do the crossbow. Oh, that's so, so much easier and it like loses about 6-7 seconds. That's what I would always do. It's best to have one player doing it and the other one just going like normal. Yeah. Uh, also, like the, the portals right here are really retarded. So, if you. Emergency. Everyone has it. They don't go in. Uh, if you. Two players can't go in at the same time. Uh, I think on the top one, it's barely possible to hit two players at once because it's so small. And the second one as well, actually. So, like, um, if you go in the portal, you have to wait, like, two seconds for the other player to go in, because it won't work. And if you, go, if you try, try to do it, then uh, it will basically send you to one of the other portals, which is not where you're supposed to go. Uh, two right here. Actually, three. Two, three. There's a spawn point if you open this. And but usually you just go to this portal, wait for this. And I can't do it because I'm alone. But you can actually get, like, jump up there, if you're good enough and you're not noob like me. But the easiest way is just to go up here at this point and... Oh, I'm so bad. Yeah, oh my, just remember to crouch, because then you can actually fit in through here or, like, up there. And that's the map. There's also the other way, which is, uh... Doesn't depend... It, if you have armor, it either you have to destroy it with this gun, or you can go through this way, which it might be actually faster in some cases. Uh, with good uh, ghost efficiency, like I am. Like, because you can skip those guys. And actually just get here, like this. But then they're gonna, they might actually follow you. Which is also bad. Yeah. And then you also have le less health for your crossbow shot. Yeah, like this. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, I'm... I'm Definitely can't make it anymore, but yeah, that's another uh, strategy. But uh, the other one is definitely better, just to get this portal. Doesn't. Okay, here. This is the last map of the chapter. Um, the first guy takes his crossbow out, and the fastest way is just do this and uh, push yourself up to the ladder. The other guy probably should take the armor, which is right there, like right here. But yeah, the first guy, like the host, basically has to go as fast as possible up and just goes here to activate them. Um, now what you do is drop snarks for uh, the the person that's gonna do the snark trick. You should have some more for yourself yeah, like, as well, like this. So basically you host it and the guy takes this and you take this and you have like 15 or 10. Uh, if you're two pl players, you take Barney. Uh, if you're three players, you can actually like just stuck him. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered this in another video, but like, yeah, here just like, and just so he comes back to you. And then like just do a circling around with snarks, and then he will get boosted to the, the, there. Uh, so this trick is easier when you're uh, three or more players. Three players, three more players exactly. You need three to like do it like almost every time. So because we're only two, we're using Barney. The same thing in yeah. Yeah, you technically you don't need Barney if you hit the snarks just right. But wait, is it B actually? Oh, yeah, it's B. Okay. So uh, you also have to have. Yeah. Two commands for this one. You have to have the movement command, so, so set Barney right here, and also the other command to return to me, so he will always try to go to me. So, because if if you stay too close to him for some reason, like to, um, for some seconds, he will go away, or if you hit him. So, you just, I just spam B and do the trick, which is like I place uh, the snarks around you. I was bad. No? Yeah, that was bad because I I placed some of them in the middle I think, and they, it has been like 
on the world record, you could have gotten a 49 minutes run, but we didn't because of st those snarks. And uh, also we were unlucky, or like, we didn't know how um, the RNG of Ghostbusters worked. Okay, we'll cover me. We thought you'd never make it. Me too. That's good to know, Barney. Very nice of you. Try to not hit him, because then we will, yeah. No? Yeah, oh, nice. basically. You have to do it around them and not try to hit it one inside them. And it, it will almost always work. That's where my experience comes from. When he gets it, just get all the other shit. Take uh, Goss. And go... Oh yeah, do this trick. I can actually show it here as well. You have to use this gun. Shoot like right there. And go into like, a precise angle. Not too far in the middle. But not like to, to the back too much. Because then it, it, kill, it will kill you. I'm always also when I'm standing in the corner. You know, to be pushed in by the snarks. I'm always holding W and and uh, D. I'm not sure if it actually does anything, but I'm doing it and just saying it. So. Yeah, yeah. So it probably actually does anything. So you hold your position. You know, uh, yeah. this map has nothing. To do. Major detected. Yeah, and then what will happen is, you c if you get the suit, you can do suicide. And what will happen is, you basically have to. If he, he will open the door and. Uh, do the trick with uh, this and turn it gun, right click, and you have to get like a good good foot position. Not in, not entirely in the middle, but not entirely in the back. So basically, like in between. And that was chapter 14, Lambda Core. Okay, so this is chapter 15, Xen, and a fairly straight up. Load up your goss. Get on this platform right here, then get on this platform. Go up here. And um, down on this. I don't have the good gun. Nope. <sighs> yeah, then look. You have to destroy this as fast as possible. That's what. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very bad. Yeah. And that's basically it, this that whole chapter. It's really straightforward. Uh, if you fail, though, I'm gonna show it what what guys want, probably want to do if you fail, because this is the intended intended way to do it in a way. Like if you don't get just just get to this right here and just try. I mean, actually, it's so it's really slow, but at the same time, it's better than literally just losing. So, um, I went. Oh wow! I went to the fucking wrong one. Yeah, definitely good. I'm probably yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the, definitely the fastest way. Like, uh, this is how you get world records in this game. But yeah, you get that. I'm pretty much pretty sure I want to delete this sector. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so in the beginning you should actually drop your ghost and your um, blue gun into the ammo, and then oh, this guy <laughs> did, has like three patterns. God, she's passing out. Dude. Probably because uh, I, I didn't shoot her properly. Yeah, and like when she comes here, shoot her with, once with 10 ammo. When she's here, shoot her again with 10 ammo. Wow, okay, this is... This is it. Come on, please. This is so bad. Come on, basic. Wow, it's dying to nothing. Yeah, I have to get more ghosts, that's why. And uh, when you do no enough damage here, you should go to the ending slowly and still do some damage to her. So she will follow you. And you will see on the movement if she wants to break the thing or not. You should always do some extra damage, so yeah. So, there's this one. It's the same in all of the two cases right here. And at the end, it, there's something a different strat. Make uh, sure you don't. It's pretty hard to do, but you can push her off the map if you take too many explosives. So <laughs> happened yeah. to us once, and it ended, ended the run. No, but we kind of did it for the fun, didn't we? Like yeah, you know. yeah. I don't know. And then half an hour later, she opened the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was bugged. I think it was like I. Um... I think it was bugged for so long, so we just like you know checked for. Uh... Oh wow, interesting pattern. 
Okay, now should I open it? Yeah. Okay, so this one is uh, this section is different from the others. You can do a resurrect right <clears throat> here. And okay, so this part is really interesting because host host usually likes you really hard. Okay, uh, fast slow. No, no, no. Now, dude, come on, please. <laughs> and like, it's really hard oh, I don't as know well. Give me a sec. Sure. You need fifty. How much do you have? No. You... No, I died to the. <laughs> You'll be actually perfect, dude. I got sniped. Yeah. yeah it wasn't it. lagging today. It's not lagging today. I'm not. Oh. I'm not sure what caused the lag. Sometimes it lags. It's Wait, almost it, unlucky. Is it, is it, is it most of the time? Yeah, almost always. It's like nine out of ten times. Maybe it's dependent on the time you're taking or something like that. I like No. Okay, yes, yeah, so you got it. This timing is one of the... It is the worst uh, resurrect timing in the entire game. It's really tricky, and especially that the host is la lagging, it really destroys everything. So, if you want to practice playing this game, this one has one of the most important ones. Also, this map. I think it's broken uh, there. It's, it's broken now, so it kind of can't la launch from it. But those pads are really buggy. Yeah, exactly. So nice. Yeah, should try to explain it, dude. Uh, like, <laughs> okay. So I use the crouch jump into the and, wall, and right? So most of the time, I just use the you know the jump pack to jump forwards into the wall. And I just wait while it like. Wow. It's quite, it's mostly timing based though, so if you put a rift over here, like you can If you go too high, you'll die from fall damage. Yeah, also, there, you're gonna die mysteriously a lot of times. Yeah, it's, and a, uh, it's like a hitbox. I'll try to show it. Show it on my. But it's like. On the left side of the. of the island, it kills you. So you should try to en enter in from the. I think it's like from the side or something. So yeah. I think it's something with it spinning around. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always like it has a spinning circle. It's, it's spinning like um, triggers. So I feel like I think on this side, if you la land from this section, it won't kill you because of reasons. Because that's how the trigger is made. Uh, it's pretty easy to do it. Like it, it's it's much easier to get this jump or like this boost in the beginning, because uh, then like uh, the triggers are on point. But afterwards, there the like those uh, gunny controllers can mess your uh, timings and everything and your space. This has been the wound killer for a long time, actually. Please no kill. Okay, I got it, guys. I got it. Easy win. Okay, now this is going to be oh, a blocker. This is pretty straightforward map as well, actually. Load up your ghosts in the beginning. Jump towards, get here, to uh, don't take too much damage. Uh, don't completely miss like I did. You can destroy this and this to get more uh, space to jump. You can do this, it's... If you're too slow, like with the tankles right there, you're gonna get wrecked and just go into there. But um, it's basically it's pretty pretty easy, but like it gets a little bit harder if you if you uh, are too slow with the tentacles and like yeah. You can also get up here and just yeah, and from here just literally shift uh, jump. Just jump here. Yeah, it's one of the easiest, easier maps. And then grab the armor and grab the knights right here. I actually missed them. Wow, nice. Yeah, and this is okay. This is pretty important because you're gonna get kind of blocked if you don't do this. Which in the beginning of this map, drop your like drop your free, first weapons and then go. Literally just go. Don't actually use the last one. 
Actually, I was too slow. Yeah, actually, just use the fast. Wait, let me see. Because if you go, I'm actually going to show you guys. If you go too fast, like I'm going to do right now. Like this. Wait, what the hell? Oh, there. Oh. Okay. So, if there's two players, that guy right there, he, is, he has infinite health. He spawns under here, his, so, like right here. So, what will happen then is you can't go, like, uh, you get, this gets stuck. So, you have to crossbow up here and then uh, crossbow up here. But apparently, when you play alone, it doesn't happen. So, so if you're more than two players, or like more than one, one player, obviously you're gonna be, just drop your uh, ghost and your blue gun. Like this, get them, and uh, just get go fast towards. And he should be walking then, right? Like this, like yeah, yeah, like this exactly. But under though, like from here to there. Yeah, and I got it. And w one person. Crouch, crouches right here. Go jumps on them. One crouches, jumps, and uh, the other person can go on top of it there and get to the other part. Actually, no. I'm just gonna. If you don't manage, to just go on this and put it right here. Go to the right side. Don't get smashed by the other one. Uh, and try to survive and go up here. Yeah, try to, yeah, like I said, try to actually survive. Might be, uh, might might be hard because you might be noob, noob like me, but you no. Know. He actually didn't die. I hate why. For some reason, this game is so well designed. If you're a single player, you either do they have less health or they do that more damage for some odd reason. I have no clue why they feel like that. Okay, new spawn right here, and there was new yeah, new spawn right here as well. Don't um. If you have armor, don't respawn right here because you're gonna lose it. What you want to do, you have armor near behind, and you know, like the other person, like it's a high, of, high chance of him getting like closer to there. What you want to do is, oh god damn it! Uh, it what, what you want to do is wait for him to. Should use a command seriously. What you want to do is just like let him go for those, like skipping those and getting over the sky, but not actually like opening him like I did. Um, going through here, using your ghost, yeah, not dying. It's actually not that easy, it's, it's actually pretty easy to not die. Depends on uh, what fucking what weapons you use. Okay, taking ghost right here. Um, there's a small trick right here. Just go here, down here, that here, here, and what you do is, on crouch usually, crouch and go into there, and then jump. It will activate your, uh, it will activate your uh, like see like this. It will activate your, uh, well, I forgot what it's called, but like yeah, you basically your boost, and uh, you go faster. And now what happens here? If uh, there's another players like up there with armor. You're gonna get teleported here, so basically don't die. Uh, and put teleported here, and they're gonna get back there. They're gonna have to still have their armor, so that's it's really good on this part because there's a lot of enemies right here, and uh, which um, really do a lot ton of damage, especially controllers. There's so yeah, yep. and um, best strategy for this is actually co-op. Like you go like with un any person. And uh, what will, like you can basically heal each other if it goes below the armor, so that's really helpful. In the beginning, we um, if we just struggle a lot because we always died here because we didn't go together and we didn't have armor, so we just died one by one. Even if we, either we killed those controllers and uh, slaves, usually you can get this jump if you have uh, good RNG and timing. Also, another thing, like, um, yeah, it's actually stuck. If that, if that thing is stuck, what you have to do is basically uh, shoot a, like I did, shoot a rocket to the side of it, 
we thought we were soft locked one time, so we didn't just bother. We just, we just ended the uh, the run. Basically, should it end because there's a slave on top of it. Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be the map actually. I mean the chapter. Please no kill. Yeah, this is basically the chapter interloper. Okay, now it's come with the hardest, uh, wait, hardest map in the entire Senkop. Yeah, it's, you have to load up the ghost. And it's, this is really precise jump, it's really hard, it's almost impossible to do often. Really small percentage of doing it, you just, you have to, I mean, like, treat like, like this, it's, it's really hard to explain. Okay, so this is last chapter in Halef. Of course, um, you load up your uh, ghost, shoot this, usually bazooka, and if you're good enough with efficiency, you can use the blowgun because it does more damage. Nice, she got it. And then you, yeah, but yellow gun is, I mean, ghost gun is usually best for the middle one and the top one. Uh, I've also remembered in the last map to load your bazooka, so now it's always like, you can always use it like this. When you destroy all the um, crystals, you just bazooka him and uh, do gun. Because it does the most damage in the entire game. In damage per second. You can actually destroy those green ones, but I don't know how like efficient it is to do it. I usually like to just like when he spawn spawns them, you just just die and just rocket and uh, boom again. Because uh, if you if you die um, after he teleports you, oh, it's open. And after he teleports you, then um, it will be slower. You can, yeah, as you see, I could have gotten him in right there, but like that's small probability if you're playing two player. Do is get up enough. That's not high enough. Pretty sure. Yep. And you have to like destroy basically his brain in a way. You can. There's also some trick shots into it, so you can like technically do something like this if you're good enough and you're dandy. Are you serious? Nice. Yeah. So like you have to actually get a good jump on those pads, like this. Like see, literally one shot. And that's basically game. That's the end of the route tutorial.